Well, on the flip side of that, uh, he did get some good news, at least if you just looked at the number on Friday, which was the unemployment rate dropped from 8.1% to 7.8%. But some people are asking what the real unemployment number is. So the latest unemployment is 7.8, but the real unemployment numbers, if you break down the 23.2 million, 12, point, or 12 million people unemployed, 2.5 million stopped looking, 8.8 .8 million working part-time, which adds up to 23.2 million Americans. Do you uh, believe that number? Uh, some other CEOs have gone out publicly and said they don't believe the number. Where do you stand? No, I don't believe the number, and neither do any of the other people that have intelligence, because that number came out of nowhere. Everyone was expecting 8.2. Now, the 8.2 is not a real number either. The real number is between 16 and 21 percent. If you're looking for a job and you give up, you're no longer in that number. They take you out. So in other words, that's a big success for our country, right? Right. The number is 16 to 21 percent, the real number. So that's Even unemployed. The 23 that's million, underemployed. People have given up. They give up. Sure. They give up. And they say, oh, they're no longer uh, unemployed. This is so crazy. Now, even everybody, everybody was saying, the economists, everybody, that it's going to be 8.2, 8.3. When this number came down, now you saw lots of different things happening where they didn't want to let go of federal workers, they didn't want to do lots of different things, because they, this is the final number before the election. Right. They wanted this number to be as good as possible. Yeah, What's it, going to happen is it's going to be readjusted. You know, they readjust these numbers all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, the good news is it'll be readjusted. The bad news is it's going to be readjusted after the election, and it's going to be a horrible number. Wait till you see what the readjust, and they do it all the time, Wait till you see how bad the readjustment number is. But by that time, it's too late if this particular president gets reelected. Well, uh, the number we used, uh, 14.7, comes to us from Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, Gretch mentioned some CEOs. That's where ours comes from. That's the underemployment number right there. Uh, Jack Welch took a look at these numbers. And remember, there was a surge in employment like we haven't seen in 30 years, spectacularly, uh, that we, was announced on Friday. Jack Welch says... Unbelievable jobs numbers. These Chicago guys will do anything. Can't debate, so change numbers. Do you think they change the numbers? I or? do, I do, and I think that they've did a lot of those, a lot of monkey business. And I'm telling you, in a month and a half from now, they will do a readjustment like has been happening for the last year and a half. They will do a readjustment, and the number will be 8.2 or more. But again, the 8.2... It's not a real number because people that are out of work aren't considered unemployed. No, we get that. But, Donald, if you're, if you're making the allegation that this administration is monkeying with the numbers to make them look good, that is very damning. Well, everyone knows that he didn't want to lay off certain workers in certain categories, and that's been well documented and well reported that he didn't want to lay off certain workers in certain categories until after the election. Mm -hmm. I well, mean, and, that's monkeying with the numbers and, 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 to a fair and, well. And my concern is if the numbers were greater, if there was greater job growth the month before and less this month, and then the number drops, how can the number be working? The, que the final question I have for you, Donald, is uh, people that watch The Apprentice, including me and my family, they know that you hate sore losers. <laughs> is the president a sore loser on this debate? I mean, how many excuses can we hear? Well, I think it was a very embarrassing moment. I mean, I'm not blaming him one way or the other. I think his people are getting very nasty about it. Now they're starting to say all sorts of things as to why it took place. But it's hard to lose, and it's hard to look that bad. And he really looked bad. That wasn't like a debate where, you know, you could have a question, because I've seen many, many debates. Usually it's uh, one like this one, one like, you know, there's really a debate. This was a case where even his ardent supporters said, what happened? Yeah, that was a rump. Well, and frankly... I think he's having a very hard time. And now I'm just looking at your poll numbers that you just put up, and the poll numbers are looking awfully good for Mitt Romney. I think Mitt Romney will make a great president. Well, we'll have to balance. see what happens. The VP debate Thursday night, and then the next presidential one early next week. Donald, have a great week. Thanks okay. for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Donald.